Hi class! So I am going to walk you through how to set up this particular exercise on the musictheory.net website. So remember that's musictheory.net. Make sure you spell it correctly. And once you type it in, it's going to bring you to this home page. And if you look up here under exercises, you just need to click on that. And you're going to get a big list of things that this particular site can do for you. Now. There are a lot of things on here that we will be using over the course of our class, but one of the first ones we're going to use for this exercise here is note identification. Go ahead and select that. Now it's going to open up this screen right here. If you visited the site before, these numbers up here that you might have some numbers already, um, I'll show you how to clear that if you need to. So what you need to do is come over here and customize this exercise. This particular um, exercise here is dealing with only treble clef. If you see, we can uh, adjust all of our options over here. We have our clef option where you can do just treble, just bass, or you can use the grand staff. I would like you guys to always select grand staff as we are working on the note identification exercise in both clefs. Okay, we'll never just select these two individually. So when we're working on all of the notes on the staff, we just want to select grand staff. And then you come back. Now for our range of notes, remember we talked about ledger lines, how those are the notes that extend. You see these arrows over here. As you move the arrows up and down, the note range moves. I would like each one to be set at two ledger lines on the line in this fashion, in both directions, okay? So there we have our high C and our really low C. Positions, make sure it's lines and spaces. Key signatures, honestly, for no identification, this isn't even necessary. So if any of these are selected, just unselect them and make sure that this natural one is selected here. Note names, we want it on letters. We're not doing scale degrees or solfege for this particular one. Um, helpers, this needs to be turned off. Accidentals, go ahead and turn it off. Not necessary, we're not using that. Now for the note filter, turn this on and all notes are selected. We don't need, since we're not using accidentals, you need to come in and unselect each of these options right here. What this does is, as you can see right now, you have all of these options that you will not be needing. We only need this middle row of notes. Since we're not dealing with any accidentals yet, we don't have sharps or flats. So only the middle column should be selected. And then down here for notes, we want these seven notes. That should match your note filter. And then for next question after audio is fine. Now challenge mode is that let's say we were going to take a test or something like that. We could come in here and we could set a time limit. So if I said, okay, I want you guys to go home and tell me how many notes you can name in 20 minutes. This is where you would set up the time limit. Um, make sure it's set to off. Now question limit might be, um, if we were gonna do an in-class assessment or something like that, I would say, okay, everybody set your quiz to 40 questions. When you're practicing this at home, all of this is turned off. We don't need any of this on. This is just for practice. And you're set, you're customized. Now, if you need to, this is where on these three dots you would reset the score if you needed to reset it or any of these things um, if you needed help, okay? You really won't use this. It's just not, you don't need to and I'll show you why. So now when you come over here and you start the process, obviously I would look at this and I would notice that this is a note on a line and you could either use just from your memory what you remember the note is or you can use your line rhymes. For me, it's good burritos don't fall apart. So I know this is a B. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select B. If I am correct, this will flash green. If I am wrong, it will flash red. It's green. Now, um, if I get the note wrong, so this up here is a space note on our treble clef, and I know it spells the word face. I know that this is an A, but let's say I wasn't sure I thought it was a G. It's going to mark it red and hold it red for you there just so that you can see, oh, that wasn't quite right. And then when you get it right, it'll go green and move on. Now you'll notice that it'll say that I made three attempts, but only two were correct. So don't worry too much about this when you're working on it. Um, for This is for your practice. This is just a way for you guys to practice working on your note naming at home. 
So that's how you're going to set up and customize all of your settings and do note identification on musictheory.net.